the song The Symphony was recorded the same day that we shot the photo for Marley Marlin Control Volume 1, that, that, that photo with a bunch of us behind, next to the, the airplane in the back of the, on the back of the cover. That was the exact same day that the symphony was recorded. We left that photo shoot and I overheard uh, Craig and Marley and them talking about going to Marley's house to record one more song. They were gonna do this song, it was supposed to be a du duet with Coogee Rap and Big Daddy Kane going back and forth. That was the plan. Um, so Craig asked, yo, asked Marley, yo, can I, can I get on the song? He's like, yo, I, I don't, they said it was, they just wanted it to be them, but let me ask. So I guess he pulled them to the side, had a sidebar. They said, yeah, it's cool, Craig could be on the song. So he said, cool. So I was like, yo, I'll drive you over there. I was Craig's ride to Marley's crib in Astoria. g Rap and Kane rode with Marley, I was Craig's ride. Truth be told, I just wanted to be nosy. You know, I wanted to see what was going to go down. I wanted to hear this record, this, this final record that was going to get recorded. Um, I had no thoughts of being on the, you know, rhyming. I just wanted to be there and see this. Um, that was my first time meeting Kane was that day at that photo shoot. So, and I was already like a fan. I heard the rhymes that he was doing. I heard like, I heard like get into it and just rhyming with Biz. I'm like, this guy's ill. Like, I want to hear, I want to hear some more rhymes. So I was Craig's ride, we went over there, and um, you know, Marley put the beat on, and everybody was sitting around the living room working on their rhyme or whatever, and I was just sitting down listening to the beat. When it came time to record, he's like, okay, who going in first? And Kane is like, let G go first. G said, let's Craig go first, and everybody's passing the buck back and forth. So he just looks over at me, yo, Ace, you got something for this? I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I stay ready. I got a, I got, I got a verse, like, yo, go in, go in the booth, spit something, man. These guys acting scared. So I go in the booth and I just spit one of my memorized, you know, joints that I walked around in my head with, you know, um, in case of any situation. In those days in New York, you had to be ready. I had 10 to 12 verses ready for any situation. That was just one of the 10 to 12 verses that I had in my head. I decided to spit that one. And after I spit it, I don't think there was any plan of keeping me on the song. I think it was just a way to kind of get those guys warmed up, um, loosened up. But after I spit the verse, I guess there was another sidebar and G Rap and Kane was like, yo, dude, dude, they would call me glasses. Yo, glasses is kinda hot, yo, leave, leave him on the song. So I didn't know that night that I was being kept on the song. It wasn't literally until he played it on the air for the first time on BLS that I realized, oh, he kept my verse. Like, wow, oh, shoot. And then I got my phone started ringing crazy. Everybody, yo, that's you, yo, that's you, that's you. Um, but it, yeah, that's how it went down, man, it was crazy. The first time that I heard, like, this is the mixed finished version was on the radio, on WBLS, him playing it. So Lionel Martin, um, who's associated with Video Music Box, that was his treatment. Um, he came up with the concept um, that we were gonna shoot the video at a dude ranch in upstate New York at, in the Outer Rondacks. Um, and Coachella, they chartered two coach buses and we were all supposed to stay the night, uh, do some recording the first night, stay the night, and then the next, the next day we finished the rest of the recording. So it was two charter buses full of extras, artists, everybody, label people, and what a what a fun fun ride up. Just a lot of joke cracking and foolishness, and you know, young guys being young guys, throwing stuff, all that kind of thing. But it was a it was a fun trip. It was a fun trip, and you know, when we got there and we saw the the treatment was a was a western scene, and you know, pick a hat, and you know, I'm everybody's trying to get the best hat and the best outfit, and. I was fortunate to get the, um, the the jacket with the frills on it, you know, um, and yeah, everybody picked their outfits and the rest is history, man. Kane was on the bus with us on the way up there, but there was some, an, an emergency happened the day that we were about to shoot the scene where we walked into the saloon and Kane couldn't shoot that day. He had to leave and go. So we were expecting him to come back at some point, but the director was like, let's keep shooting. When Kane gets back, we'll finish. Kane never came back that day, so we had to actually f record his parts on a whole separate day.